this is Captain Chaudhary. I'll be speaking about V correction today. Uh, many of the students they wanted to know what to say when somebody asks what is V correction. Why it is not applied in case of uh, Sun and Aries. Now uh, let me tell you, V correction is a term that is uh, specific to the particular almanac that you're using. You might have an almanac where by there is a different concept of V correction, whereby there's no V correction at all. So it depends. Like our almanac setup is such that we apply V correction for moon, we apply V correction for the planets. Now what is this V correction? Before we understand uh, V correction, let us understand the way the earth spins on her axis. So uh, if we just uh, look at the earth from top, these are the meridians. And if we just look at the star, which is distant star, there is an observer who is standing here. Star is crossing observer's meridian. After an interval of 23 hours, 56 minutes and 4.1 seconds, the same person comes under the same star, the same distant star. So we can say that this particular line and this particular line in space, they are parallel. And Earth takes 23 hours, 56 minutes, 4.1 seconds to spin once in space by 360 degrees. And if we divide 360 by 23, 56, 4.1, what we get is 15.041 degrees or 15 degrees, 2.46 minutes. That is the rate of spin of Earth in space. That is the true uh, rate of spin of the earth. So that's why we have a fixed table for the increment. It has taken 23, 56, 4.1 seconds to reach here. But this observer, he says that yesterday the sun was also on my meridian and the sun is not yet on my meridian. For that, earth will have to move a little more ahead in a space along her orbit. This takes about 4 minutes. The person can say that Yes, once again the sun is on my meridian. Now this takes about 24 hours and 360 degrees divided by 24 gives you 15 degrees per hour. So the rate of spin with respect to the sun is 15 degrees per hour. Rate of spin with respect to a fixed point in the space is 15.041 degrees per hour. Both these rates are fairly constant. So in the almanac, when we make the increment table, increment table means if the sun is spinning 15 degrees in one hour relatively, so in 30 minutes it should be 7.5 degrees and in 15 minutes it should be 3.75 degrees. These values are given in the increment tables. Now there can be a fixed increment table for degrees, there can be a fixed increment table for sun. But these increment tables cannot be made for moon and planets exclusively. There is a reason for that. Now, in respect of moon, we cannot say that the rate of change of meridian by moon is fixed. There are two reasons for that. Number one, moon is very close to the earth, close vicinity with the earth. Number two, moon has got uh, an orbit around the earth itself. And thereby what happens is, now we find that sometimes the moon is coming along with the earth when we go around the sun and sometimes we find the moon going in opposite direction as we go around the sun. So uh, these are the reasons that the moon's rate of change of meridian for an observer on earth uh, becomes extremely variable. Now there is a minimum rate, there is a maximum rate and there is a mean rate. Moon's rate of change of meridian is never going to be less than 14 degrees 19 minutes. Let's make the increment table on the basis of this rate. So that if on any particular day, suppose the moon's rate of change of meridian is uh, 14 degrees 29 minutes, then that 10 minute extra would be tabulated or calculated separately in a different table uh, called V and D correction. And we allow for that 10 minutes, which is the difference in rate. So tabulated rate for the moon's increment tables is 14 degrees and 19 minutes. And actually the moon is going today, say for example, at 14 degrees 29 minutes. There is a 10 minutes difference in rate. This 10 minutes is accounted for 
by the calculations or the values or data that is given in V and D correction. So what we understand V correction say in case of moon is the actual rate of change of meridian by moon minus tabulated rate of change of meridian by moon. So actual rate minus 14 degrees 19 minutes is the V for that particular hour. Every GMT hour the value of V is given in the algorithm. Let's do a simple numerical to understand it. Let's see, 261 degrees is the GH at 1800. So 2000 what will be the GH? Actual rate will be tabulated rate plus V. That is 14 degrees 19 minutes plus 10 minutes. That is 14 degrees 29 minutes is the actual rate. So in two hours, the change of GHA will be uh, 58 minutes, 28 degrees, 28 degrees, 58 minutes. So the GHA of moon at 2000 hours will be 261 degrees plus 28 degrees, 58 minutes. So that is 289 degrees, 58 minutes. That is the GHA at 2000 hours. So in case of uh, planets, we can have a general formula that is the actual rate minus 15 degrees is equal to V of the planet. So let's take Jupiter. Let's say a GHA at 1500 hours is 096 degrees. If V is 2.4 minutes per hour, then what will be the GHA after 3 hours? So in 3 hours, the GHA would be 15 degrees plus 2.4 minutes multiplied by 3. This would be the increase. So that is 7.2 minutes and 45 degrees will be the increment. So the new GHA will be 141 degree 7.2 minutes sometimes in case of moon you might be asked uh, a short numerical that is if the average V is equal to 12 minutes for the day find the length of lunar day so length of lunar day will be 360 degrees divided by the rate at which the moon is changing the meridian, the rate of change of GHA of moon that is 14 degrees 19 minutes plus 12 minutes. Whatever duration you will get that will be uh, more than 24 hours that is the length of the lunar day. So if we look at uh, the various planets suppose the earth is here and then you might have a Venus here then you have Sun here and then you might have Mars, which is about 1.5 astronomical unit from the Sun. Then you might have Jupiter and then you might have Saturn, which is way beyond. This is the orbit of Venus, the orbit of Earth, orbit of Mars, etc. Uh, because of the distances involved and because of relative positions in the orbit, it is always found that for the Mars, Jupiter and Saturn, the rate of change of GHA is always more than 15 degrees. So we have always a positive V in case of the planets. And two things which are basically responsible. We are not going into intricacies of these things. But uh, number one distances and number two all the planets they go in a similar that is anti-clockwise motion around the sun. So we always have a V. Uh, which is positive in case of these planets. But let us see what happens in case of Venus. Suppose there is this observer 1 here and observer 2 here. The delong between the observer 1 and 2 is say 15 degrees. Observer 1 finds Venus as well as Sun on the meridian say for example. Now what happens is after some time when observer number 2 is under the sun or sun is crossing the meridian of observer number 2 which is separated by 15 degrees from observer number 1. Because the Venus is inferior planet speed of Venus is much more than the earth speed and Venus has advanced say for example here in uh, the meridian. 
in one hour suppose Venus has advanced from here to here which means that this observer number 2 has already crossed the meridian of Venus in much shorter time so we find that the rate of change of Venus is faster than that of the Sun that means the rate of change of Venus might be 15 degrees say uh, 1.5 minutes or 2 minutes per hour which means that the Venus has got a positive V now let's take the situation over here while the Venus is here in the orbit now while the observer one finds the Sun as well as Venus on the meridian after about one hour when observer number two is under the Sun because Venus is faster than the Earth in the orbit Venus would have advanced to this position that means while the observer number two is crossing Sun's meridian it has taken one hour it has not yet crossed the Venus meridian and that will happen only after some time this means the rate of change with respect to Venus is now less than 15 degrees per hour which means that the V correction for Venus in this particular period should be negative 